Want to know 14 attraction signs that men always miss? Well, that's what we're going to be covering in today's reaction video to Psychology Bites video about the 14 attraction signs that men always miss. So stay tuned. Women always send out feelers to the men they like, hoping it would spark attraction. Unfortunately, most men have poor attraction radars, making them incapable of recognizing these women's signals. Join us in this video as we show the 14 attraction signs men always miss. 14. Accidental touches. Studies show that women are the initiators of early attraction signaling. And they do this not through words but by body language. Unfortunately, one of the attraction signs men always miss is the light brush on their arms or any other accidental contact between body parts. Here's a tip. Psychologists say there is no such thing as an accident in the world of body language. Yeah, I would definitely say if a woman touches you, chances are she's interested. It's more likely than not that she's interested. But you want to look for a cluster of signs, not just one. It's like the Merovingian pointing out the causality of things. It's not fate that you bumped into each other. She purposely did it. She wants to know if the momentary interchange of skins will spark attraction. So it's not an accident when she lightly bumps her hips or grazes her fingers against yours. She's testing the waters. 13. Desire on the face. A woman's face conveys many things. Unfortunately, most men miss microfacial expressions that are subconscious manifestations of a woman's desire and interest. For example, slightly parted lips mimic the female genitalia. Psychologists say this sign is a genital echo. How about her eyelids? Do they flutter, albeit briefly? If they do, it's a good sign she's interested in you. You can make a strong case of this if she also tilts her head slightly downward. These facial expressions point to only one thing, desire. Sadly, not many men recognize these signs. Use this information to your advantage. Watch her face for these subtle cues the next time you go out on a date. Okay, I don't disagree. 12. Slow stroking of the knees. Yeah, stroking of the knees. Anytime a woman touches your thigh, that is game on. Psychologists say stroking, touching, or caressing the knees is a sign of sexual interest. For sure. You can bet she's interested in you when she strokes or gently rubs your knees. There's no need to elaborate on what step you should take next. Ask her does out. she stroke her knees her. while talking to you? If she does, it's an unconscious desire to touch and caress yours. How about her knees direction? Do they point at you? If they do, you're the subject of her interest. 11. Open up the body. We're not talking about cutting her up or going in her birthday suit. Psychologists the say people close themselves <laughs> unconsciously to people they aren't interested in. For example, crossing the arms in front of the chest. Yeah, for sure. So signs of disinterest, crossed arms, crossed legs, feet pointing away from you, her whole body is turned away from you. Those are all signs of disinterest. Is a guarding behavior we display when we don't like who we're talking to. Hence, a woman who displays an open body posture is sending off attraction signs to whoever is receptive. Does she place her hands and arms on the table, opening up her chest when talking with you? Do her upper limbs move freely, or are they more restricted in their movements? It's worth pointing out that women will fold their arms to guard their front when around unattractive or aggressive men. Does she cross her legs? It's also just a sign of distrust, and sometimes you just have to win her over and she'll open up. Or place them apart. Although crossing the legs is a closed-off behavior, frequently changing the position is an open invitation. 10. The basic instinct move. We love that scene where Sharon Stone crosses her shapely legs. You could see Michael Douglas clearing his throat. We'd have the same reaction if we were in his shoes. Crossing her legs might be a closed off cue. However, it's one of the many attraction signs men always miss. Well, it also depends on what direction her legs are crossed. If they're crossed and leaning towards you, that's different than if they're crossed in a way. It's essential to note that this behavior only works if the woman is wearing shorts, a short skirt, or tight leggings. Psychologists say a woman purposely crossing her legs is subconsciously showing off her thighs. 
If you're quick enough, your eye's attention will shift from her face to her lower half. The brain then takes over, conjuring steamy images in your head. Correlate it with other body language signs, and she's yours for the taking. Remember what we said about opening up her body? Crossing the legs has a similar effect. 9. The blinking phenomenon. I think the crossing legs thing was confusing because at the end of the day, it was like, wait, is that a good sign or a bad sign? I think if she's crossing her legs towards you, that's a good sign. If her body's coming towards you, that's a good sign. If she's like that, she's trying to get away from you or crossing her legs to go the other way, the feet always point in the direction that we want to go. Did you know that there's such a thing as an eyelash flutter? It's like blinking faster without you knowing. Researchers at the Center for Nonverbal Studies found that a rapid eye blink indicates a person's state of psychological arousal. They went on to say that women who suddenly blink faster than their dates experience a heightened state of sexual arousal without understanding why or how. It's crucial to recognize these things occur in the unconscious, beyond our level of comprehension. We're unaware that we're showing these signs. Hence, it's also not surprising that other people fail to recognize them too. The next time you have a conversation with a female friend or acquaintance, be mindful of how they blink. You'll never know if she's already sending you attraction signs and you don't recognize them. It's your loss. 8. The rolling hips. She's not impersonating Nicki Minaj. Nope. She's swaying her hips more provocatively to get your attention. We're not surprised that women have wider hips than men. Science says it symbolizes fertility and sexual prowess. Unsurprisingly, you'll hear songs alluding to this female asset. It becomes more pronounced if her buttocks are also as plump as watermelons. What is this video? This is so weird. Okay, whatever. Look at how she gyrates her hips. How about the way she grooves and shifts in her seat? The hip swaying motion is an open invitation for men who are perceptive enough of what it means. So be mindful of how she moves her hips. If the movements are more deliberate than usual, it's a hint. 7. The Jalada Baboon Maneuver We're not saying she's going to turn into a she-ape. What we mean is she's going to stick out her ample bosoms. Jalada Baboons are different from other monkey species because of their fiery red chests. Unsurprisingly, local people call them the bleeding heart monkey. Nope, they are not in despair. These primates show off their fertility, sexuality, and readiness to mate. You won't see a lady painting her chest in Ferrari red. However, your attention will be on her bosoms. She might lean closer to you or bring her shoulders back to accentuate the breasts sticking out from her chest. I mean, I will say that when you're single, you probably show more skin. You probably wear more low cut things. It's definitely a way to communicate that you're interested when you're wearing clothes that are a little bit more provocative. You see this a lot with the early 20 year old girls where they're like dressed in nothing, even though it's freezing outside. So I agree with this, but it's just an interesting presentation. She'll also stand taller to showcase her best assets. Most men think the woman sticking out her breast is only trying to maintain her posture. It isn't. She's accentuating her body's best parts to get noticed. 6. The hair flip. What's in this behavior that's so irresistible? Why do Pantene and Dove commercials look so inviting, knowing the hair flips are wild exaggerations? Science has several explanations for this. Touching the neck or tossing the hair exposes the armpit. What? Many of us don't recognize that this body region releases sexual pheromones. It's difficult to explain what these substances are. The best way to think about them is that these are chemical signals only the brain can pick up. Touching the hair also highlights the curvature of the woman's neck. It also draws attention to the shiny and healthy tresses. In other words, flipping the hair is a woman's unconscious way of drawing attention to herself. I do. I think this is accurate. I know that we touch our hair when we're interested. We touch like all of our hair. Usually it's like, because we're becoming aware that you're looking at us or we're aware of how we look to you. That's a sign that we're like thinking about how you're perceiving us, which is definitely a sign that we're interested. The only thing is if she's looking at the ends of her hair, that's a bad sign. That's a sign that she's bored and she wants to get out of there. 
other than that, touching the hair, definitely a, a sign. It's also one of the attraction signs men always miss. Five, the submissive look. Many men dismiss the classic submissive look as nothing more than a sign of being a pushover. They'll take advantage of the girl, knowing how easy it is to get her. It also doesn't help that the woman attracted to someone must play her cool, not showing her assertiveness. It's a tricky balancing act women must perform if they want to show their attraction to someone without appearing too aggressive or too submissive. So what kind of submissiveness is an attraction sign that men always miss? Studies show women with thinner higher set eyebrows make them more vulnerable and helpless. The male brain interprets this as an opportunity to defend and protect the female. Women who expose or make their wrists go limp are also sending submissive signals to attract. The human brain makes her look weak, inviting predators to swoop in. Don't believe us. Did you notice how women hold their cigarettes? It's always with the wrist exposed and turned out. 4. The Marilyn Monroe face. She might have lived in the booming 50s and swinging 60s, but Marilyn Monroe's sensuality and allure transcend generations. Her appeal is as enduring as the classics. Many tried to imitate her, but all failed. Girls attracted to someone don't need to have the blonde bombshell's face. They only need to mimic her enticingly provocative gaze. If you're clueless about what the Marilyn Monroe Come on looks like, you can check out any of her images. She has raised eyebrows and half-closed eyelids. It's like she's sleepy. But, no, it's the classic look of a woman experiencing out-of-this-world pleasure. You might see her slightly parting her lips. You're a hapless chap if this image doesn't turn you on. Okay, I just think the presentation is a little bit funny. <clears throat> but I think what they're saying that how I would say it is like when you're feeling sensual or sexual, you are really in your senses as opposed to being in your logical mind. You're really in your body. Kind of like when you meditate or do yoga or work out, you're in your body. You're not really in your head. And so when a woman is thinking about sex, she's really in her body. She's feeling very sensual. Her body is like lit up as opposed to being in her head. And that can shift the way that she, like her body language and her facial expressions. So I think that's kind of what they're saying. I don't know, like about the Marilyn Monroe, you could call it that for sure. Definitely. You'll have different facial expressions and different behaviors when you're feeling sensual and in your body. Or you simply don't recognize this as an attraction sign. Three, revved up preening. Knapp and Hall published a study in 2014 revealing the hidden meanings behind everyday interactions. One of their most interesting findings is women's preening behavior. We all know that people love to groom themselves whenever they go out. However, there's a good chance your lady friend isn't priming herself to boost her self-esteem. She's doing it to attract you. Yeah, so how I would say this is... Um... If you see a beautiful woman out and about, she only looks that way because she wants you to approach her specifically at a bar. Like a beautiful woman is not at a bar so that she can spend money on alcohol that she could get four times cheaper at her house and be in her sweats. She put on makeup. She made her hair look like that. She looks great because she wants you to come talk to her because she wants your attention. So I think that's kind of what they're saying here. You'll see her flip her hair or twirl several strands around her fingers. She does this not only to look more attractive, she unconsciously acts this way to draw attention. After all, our brains are hardwired to focus on anything that moves. Women attracted to someone will put on makeup. She'll excuse herself to the powder room and apply a fresh coat of lip balm or lipstick to make her look more alluring. She'll glance at herself on a reflective surface, ensuring she looks pleasing. Unfortunately, some guys dismiss this sign as nothing more than a woman being too self-conscious. No, she's definitely interested if she's doing that. Two, slowly, almost sensually caressing nearby objects. Most men don't consider this an attraction sign. However, scientists beg to disagree. A person attracted to someone has an intense desire to touch, but since she cannot caress you yet, she'll make do with almost anything nearby. 
Notice how she fondles, strokes, or caresses her coffee cup or wine glass. Check out how she plays the pen in between her lips. And how about her phone? Do you see her caressing the screen with only her fingertip? Psychologists say these behaviors indicate object transference. It's deeply rooted in our bond with our respective mothers. As babies, we couldn't differentiate ourselves from our moms. A woman caressing an object relives the pleasurable sensations embedded into our unconscious. Fidgeting is also an attraction sign many men miss. She'll stroke or rub her car keys to release pent-up energy. So the next time a lady friend displays these bodily signals, grab the chance to reciprocate. 1. Licking her lips. Did you know that a woman's lips are as thick as her outer genital lips? Raunchy, indeed. However, scientists say female lips are the most natural form of self-mimicry. The thick, luscious lips on a woman's face symbolize the one in her genital region. Hence, it's not unusual for women to subconsciously lick their lips to make them look shinier, more appealing, and more inviting. Most men think that women lick their lips because it's dry and chapping. It could be that she's trying to remove a morsel of food after a delicious bite. Dryness can indeed make a woman lick her lips. However, there's a scientific explanation for this, further tipping the balance in favor of attraction. When a woman is attracted to someone, she increases her breathing, thus drying her lips. Licking the lips also entails tongue movement. In most cases, the tongue movements are inviting. And if you add red or glossy lipstick, that's a recipe for attraction. Sadly, most men miss this attraction sign. So interesting video. I, um, I like that they several times shared where they got their information from. I just think the delivery was a little bit interesting. Like, I, I don't know if I would uh, frame it that way, but I don't disagree with what they've said. So hopefully this helps. If you like this video and you're looking for more help in your dating life, you can check out my coaching program and more about how I can help you in my free masterclass below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you want to see other reaction videos for specific um, content creators, let me know in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching.